if you ever typed an instruction known as a prompt into ChatGPT and got the output and thought, man, this is not quite what I wanted, then this video is going to blow your mind. Today, I'm sharing three simple tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of ChatGPT, as well as all of the other AI models out there, plus how you can generate some really great prompts using a four-step formula to get the most out of it as well. I use these exact patterns, training and teaching people to use AI, as well as the AI and automation solutions that you've seen on this channel and we develop for clients as well. Let me show you how they work and exactly what to type. We're going to run through the three different ones. So firstly, we're starting with getting smarter answers instantly. We're then going to run through how to tap into the expert level thinking using some insights from maybe a world-class inventor or strategic point of view. And the last one is going to be around how we can flip the problem on its head so that we can get that best output possible by looking at it from a different angle. But first things first, how do we structure a prompt? Well, there's lots of art that goes into prompt engineering, but here is a quick four-step formula that gets you really good outputs. We want to start with the role. So what should ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, what should it look like? How should it act? So is it a marketing analyst? Is it a data analyst? Is it a customer support specialist? What's the role that it needs to assume? What's the goal that it's going to achieve? Does it need to complete an email? Does it need to resolve that customer's query? Does it need to provide some insights into some data that you've got? What's the goal that you want it to achieve? We're then going to run through the context as well. So what background information does it need? Does it understand how you type, how you text, your language that you use? Any relevant information about the company? Any documents that you need to be sharing? Market information, anything like that you want to include in the context? And then finally, the format. What's the output that you want to get back? Do you want bullet points? Do you want it to be a paragraph? How do you want that output to come back so that you can use it straight away? So let's jump into the first one, which is all around how to get smarter answers instantly. We're going to get ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini, whichever one you use, to first ask you some questions for a better outcome. So we're going to come across to ChatGPT. We're using ChatGPT 4.1 mini. We've got our instruction down the bottom. You're a brand strategist, so we've given it the role. Help me create a professional, personable brand as a solo founder building an AI consulting business. Should feel modern, trustworthy, and slightly playful. Structure the output as a one-page brand guide. So again, the output that we want to achieve, as well as some messaging pillars. And then as you can see at the bottom here, we're asking the clarifying question of what do you need to get out from us to get that response back as successfully as possible. So we're asking it to ask us questions to get their output that we're looking for. Now, if we send this off, as you can see here, it's coming back with a couple of key questions in these different areas to make sure that we get the best output. And that's exactly how you're gonna be able to use it. We're gonna come back across though. We're gonna to run to this next one here, which is all around tapping into the expert level thinking. So we're asking, how do we get responses from a world-class investor, strategist, someone who's a real expert in that space and be able to use their knowledge? Let's come back across. We're going to open up a new chat here, but then going to paste our prompt at the bottom. So slightly different this time. You are a senior product designer, so the role. Review this landing page copy for my AI time tracking tools, so maybe your products that you developed. We've given it some context as well as the goal in here of what you want it to achieve. We want to be the top 0.1% focused on copywriting. There we go. This is just for time toggles, so just one of the many tools out there that can help you track your time, not affiliated. It's just an example that we're going to use today to get the output that we want. So there we can see it. Now, if we send this off, because we've given it that really clear context, that goal of what we want it to do, it's going to be able to come back and give us some revised copies, some really good outputs that we'll be able to use. So for example, here, the headline improvement, what the original one was, and now we want that revised one to be, some subheading improvements, any call to actions, tonality. The more information you give it, the better output you're gonna get because it will have the context and the understanding of that specific problem. We're gonna come back across though, and we're gonna come into one of our last tips here, just around flipping the problem on its head. So we're gonna challenge the assumptions that we have Maybe to get some new ideas, this is great. Maybe if you're doing, you know, a book or trying to solve a problem, you'll be able to use this. Let's come back across. We're going to open a new chat. We're going to paste our prompt in here. And we've just changed it again. They were a growth strategist. 
and we're looking for five lead generation ideas for the AI powered video editing. We've got a target audience, we've got a list of bullet points. So now we're asking it at the end here, how we reframe this problem in a way that challenges how I see the problem. So as we can see here, let's flip the approach of just using the tool. We're now going to look at it, how we generally create value and curiosity that pulls the targeting in. Instead of just saying we're selling an AI video editor, we're looking at what the pains and motivations are, and then how we could go to market with that. So for example, content creators, time bank challenge. We've then got micro consultancy series, what's slowing your growth. We've got a slow workflow stress test. We've got content efficiency experimenters, creative freedom fund. So lots and lots of ways that you could do this. And again, you can combine the techniques. So for example, there is a follow-up prompt. We could combine that asking and questioning element and say, what do you need from me to make this the best output possible? So now it's going to come back and ask us lots of questions and it's going to help us get the best outputs possible by using the AI to help us get that prompting, get the instructions really good so that we can get the outputs exactly the way we need them. And as mentioned, if we come across, this works with every single AI LLM sort of out there. Google's Gemini, Meta Llama, Mr. R AI, DeepSeek, so, so many more. If you want to learn more about prompt engineering or AI and automation, make sure to come across to our community. You get access to all of the resources for free from day one, including all of the AI agent blueprints that we developed. And if we come a bit further down, we've got an entire masterclass around prompt engineering that's going to walk you through how to get the best outputs possible. And if we come a bit further up, you see, we've also got an entire masterclass around the prompt engineering for generating images, which is slightly different to how we've just run through for using it with the normal AI LLM tools here. Stay tuned for around AI automation and have a great day.